this is Vivian Contaria with Trainertainment, uh, bringing you Think Tank Thursday. This is our first edition for this new year, uh, 2023. We wanted to really take a second here to remind everybody about our great partners and uh, our sponsorships. Last year, we had some phenomenal ones. Um, for this year, our partners include Betson, Roller, Delta Strike, Redemption Plus, and Semnox. We have um, a lots of opportunities here. So if you guys are interested, please shoot us a, a little email and we'd be uh, glad to talk to you about uh, partnering up with us. You guys are the ones that help us bring all of this content to our guests. So today, to start off 2023, we want to really start off with our marketing and, and what, what's going to be going on for Q1. Um, our first quarter, uh, if you guys don't have our planner, our planner has all of the reach calendar and who to market to, where to market, um, how to market to them, planning some events. We have a lot of really fun things. So if you don't have one, you could pick one up at this link. Um, and we'd like to just make sure that you guys are aware of the reach calendar as well. The reach calendar has all of the fun uh, holidays, including all of the little obscure ones that you can make events with and coordinate with your teams and, and just have a really fun time with creating a lot more content for your organization. So with that uh, getting started, I, I wanted to talk about what's going on for uh, January. In January, we have so many things going on. You guys, as you know, um, it's the first week it starts off with back to back to everything, right? So we want to make sure that we plan out the year. Start really thinking about the year as a long term. If you haven't had time to do it, Get yourself a calendar for marketing specifically and plan out um, your marketing, plan out your events. And with the help of the reach calendar, plan out what kind of uh, content you're going to be providing to your, your um, guests um, through various social media uh, channels. Last year, we talked about a little bit about making sure that we had um, all of our bases covered. So if you guys are doing social media, make sure that you are uh, working within all the channels, because as you know, parents appear at every channel. You've got young parents that um, only do Instagram. You've got older parents who will only be on Facebook. You've got young kids, you know, college students who are on Instagram and Snapchat, as well as um, TikTok and, you know, whatever other channels are out there. So just make sure that uh, post the appropriate content for those channels. Um, ha having a good mix is really a key to be able to um, have and give those messages, you know, to to the community, making sure that kids are hearing about your center, um, the parents are hearing, even the grandparents. So everybody's on social media now. So just make sure that you pick your channels and, and do your the appropriate ads for those channels. So we start off the year just right off the bat with um, um, our, our pizza week. You know, if you are a center that has pizzas, it is a great way to um, start doing promotions for pizzas and have little events around it. You can have a pizza night party, making sure that people, you know, can make their own little individual pizzas or just specials that you can do. Look at the calendar and make sure that you have something going on. I think at least once a week, I would start looking at all of the different channels that you have. We're going to go through the uh, reach calendar in a moment here, but I wanted to talk about something that was really, really important to me because I did see this in a couple of centers last year. So it's the beginning of the year. Make sure that you are taking time out to review your website. Like, so what was the last time that you reviewed it? Maybe it was the end of the quarter or maybe even it, it got away from you and you, you didn't get a chance to do it. So make sure that you start off this year by taking time and taking a friend or a colleague, somebody to review your website. Are there typos on there? Is there um, outdated information, opening hours, closing hours? Remember, we had we just went through holidays. So. Um, some of those things might have changed. Remember to update your hours on Google. Remember to update your hours on your website, um, as well as parties. You know, 
if you are focusing on parties for the beginning of the year and in who isn't, you know, really, that's where where a bulk of the, the money is being made with events is in having these great parties. So making sure that your party information is easily accessible to parents on the website, making sure that there aren't 20 clicks to get to that information, that that information is correct, that it is updated. If you guys haven't had time or looked at your party packages, you know, if you are updating party packages, are they being, uh, uh, have you looked at the, the costs involved on the party packages? Are you, I, I saw a post the other day and I, I wanted to make sure that people know that we have a birthday party calculator that you can take a look at. I'll link it below here. Um, it, it It's a great tool to be able to figure out whether or not you're, you sh you're charging the right amount for your birthday party. So take a look at that. Um, take a look at your website. Take a look at your, how many clicks it takes to get to that event page or to, to your birthday parties, um, as well as photographs. You know, like people want to see people having fun. So make sure that you're out there and taking pictures during your parties. Ask them if you could post those pictures, whether it's on social media or you can use some of them for your website as well. So talking about our reach calendar and our our planner, um, a little bit about the reach calendar. This does have a lot of information on here. It has all of the major holidays uh, in addition to, like I said, all these fun little holidays. So uh, starting in January, like I said, we, we kicked off uh, with uh, National Pizza Week. Make sure that you have something in place for that. If you guys do um, sell pizzas, uh, there's all sorts of promotions that you could do for that. Um, we have the Golden Globes coming up. Um, yeah, Martin Luther King is the third week of January this year. Um, let's see, National Hugging Day. We have some fun National Pie Day on the 23rd, including also Chinese New Year. I don't know how much you guys do in your com in, in, in your community, but just make sure that you are um, really thinking about what other uh, type of holidays your particular community is doing. So end of the month also is National Blood Donor Month. You know, this is a great way to have people come in, you know, talk to the, one of the blood banks and have them come out, set up outside, and you could give away a gift card if, it, if people donate blood. So hosting a, a blood drive or something like that is a great way to kick off the, 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 the year and have, you know, they're saving lives as well. So it's, it's, it, makes it, it makes people feel good and you get a promotion as well. So coming up next in February, we have... February is the month of love, and there is so much love going around. I mean, not only is it um, Valentine's Day, so make sure that your Valentine's Day promotions are all set up and ready to go. But remember, we also have Super Bowl Sunday. Who doesn't love Super Bowl Sunday? So Super Bowl Sunday, if you have any kind of sports theme bar, make sure that you're running specials for the, that game. Um, if you are giving a, a, a giveaway or fun uh, food and drink specials, there's a lot that you can do with those type of holidays. I know Valentine's Day is a great way to set something up like a father-daughter um, day or mother-son dance or, or even laser tag. I mean, use whatever you have in your facility that you can work around and you can include a lot of these uh, types of holidays as in your promotions as well. Um, the marketing tip for the month is, you know, turn your participants and promotions into sales. So make sure that you have them sign up for your e-club. So if you haven't done a birthday club, this is the best time to do it. Start it at the beginning of the year. January and February are a great way to really kick off your birthday month, you know, birthday year. Um, do a mock party, throw yourself a party, have fun, have people come out, set up a table with balloons and you could put your your brochures on there and uh, make, make sure that people are signing up to maybe win a birthday party or something like that. The birthday party could be, you know, a, a party that you hold there on your weekday uh, uh, time schedule and um, they could always upgrade it. So it, it's a great way to start really focusing more on birthday parties and getting people added onto your list. So make sure that you have that something in place for that month. And it can't, it doesn't have to be beginning of January. You could, you could wait until February to do this. It's really important to get that done. 
And now coming up to March, March is such a great holiday uh, month. We've got so many fun things going on in March. My, my goodness, a couple of different things that we can do with the uh, the March holidays, as well as having a uh, St. Patrick's Day party. There's a lot of different events. So we're just going to go run off through some of these for these holidays on in March. I mean, come on, who doesn't love Read Across America? It is a great way to, to start your book club or something like that for the summer. So make sure that you're taking advantage of some of these promotions. We have um, National Meatball Day. We have Pancake Day. Oh, my goodness. Who doesn't love a big stack of pancakes? So take a look at all of your different holidays during this month and see how you can apply some of them. And you don't have to do them all. And as a matter of fact, it does get a little silly and crazy to do all of them. So just pick your and it doesn't have to be the, the main holidays. Pick something that works within your center, that your kids and your promotions, that they, something that they'll really love. So making sure that we're looking at that first quarter and, and breaking it down by not only these fun events, your big holidays, and really start planning, start plugging away at everything that you're going to be doing for that um, the, for the first three uh, months of the year, including setting yourself up for the summer. Uh, March also, we have Girl Scout um, Jamboree. That is a huge part of, um, of the Girl Scout community call your Girl Scout community in your in your in your local area and see when they're having their big jamboree. Uh, make sure that you have, you know, some kind of uh, promotion that you could you could do with the Girl Scouts that you could sell those packages to. The great thing about Girl Scouts is that you can create a badge or a, a little uh, um, event that you could do with a little craft or something and, and they'll come out and they'll bring their their entire um girl scout community out there so it is a great way to do this so setting up for spring break and you know make sure that you have your your aftercare all all of those kind of things start really thinking about how you're going to do that and what kind of packages are you going to offer them the biggest thing that I, I tell everybody is to make sure that they are starting to plan at very early during the year. If you can't get everything planned out by the end of the year, certainly the first couple of weeks is the best way to do that. If you don't have a dedicated marketing team or a dedicated marketing person and you're a one man show, that's totally fine. The best way to do this is to get organized, get yourself a planner, get yourself a uh, reach calendar and start circling the ones that you can do and, and pick the ones that you can do well. So don't do don't over promise so you don't have setbacks later on of not being able to really pull these things off. Make sure that you're taking one day at a time. Make sure that you're looking at an event uh, in, in a 30, 60, 90 day uh, period so you know what's coming up, what you need to get for those events, who you need to schedule, all those things. I think with uh, taking a look at all those, the marketing calendar, the reach calendar, it, it really sets us up for success in 2023. So making sure that we're getting everything in order and planned out is going to be the way to get success in 2023. I mean, we, we, we've had two years of kind of uncertainty. I think 2023, at least we feel um, is going to little going to be a little bit more certain as far as, you know, openings and things like that. So I really hope that you guys take the time to plan. Uh, our planner and our reach calendar are going to be linked below in case you want to take a look at some of those and get get yourself one of those planners. It's a great way to plan out your entire year. Um, you could use it, your your sales, your your goals, everything are going to be on there, including some scripts. So if you don't, if you haven't had time to like really purchase anything, it's all included in there. Take a great look at that. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach me at Vivian at Trainertainment.net. Looking forward to seeing you in 2023.